who are attending the sem today's seminar, this today's session of the metabolism, metabolism seminar series here in person or online. And uh, Professor Perotti asked me to uh, <coughs> extend uh, her greetings and her regrets to uh, to you all, since uh, she she won't be able to be here due to uh, child care treatments. And uh, uh, today's uh, uh, session will be. Uh, well, in today's session, we'll, uh, we'll be about uh, a manuscript uh, that uh, I'm co-authoring with uh, Professor Perotti, and who, whose main object, whose main su subject is uh, the question of agency and actors in urban social ecological systems uh, through the lenses of the concept of urban metabolism, and that we uh, addressed uh, through uh, by outlining a conceptual framework and by performing a computational analysis of. Uh, uh, relevant research literature in urban, the field of urban metabolism studies. And uh, I, also want, I also wanted to, before starting, I also want to thank you, my colleagues that are uh, here. Ezan, uh, who is postdoc uh, in the lab and who is working with me on this, uh, on the project related to urban metabolism. Alejandra Acevedo, who is working on uh, um, food security. Food security. And urban metabolism. The Elisabetta, who is also working with me on the project, and in particular on the uh, conceptual aspect of uh, uh, the project, uh, whereas Ezan is more into the modeling aspect of the project. And we have Pramit, uh, who is working on uh, connectivity in uh, system ecology, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Yeah. And uh, Ursula, who is a PhD student. Uh, and what are you working on, Ursula? Uh, urban metabolism and ecosystem services and the industrial ecology perspective. Yeah. So thank you to you all and <coughs> we can start. So against uh, the uh, backdrop of uh, growing concerns uh, uh, over uh, climate change and related issues, the concept of uh, urban metabolism has become a staple and a uh, uh, and the, grow and the, the focus of uh, growing interest for, for urban sustainability studies. And such an uptake in, uh, in, in, in interest uh, for the concept of urban metabolism is uh, uh, related to this same concept, uh, potential for informing uh, sustainability practices and policies. Uh, this potential has been widely explored uh, by, um, by by uh, by scholars uh, working within the framework of urban political ecology, and uh, more specifically, uh, urban political ecology inspired approaches to the urban metabolism have used the notion of agency, of agency as a framing device for uncovering the political character and underlying power dynamics specific to the uh, resource exchanges uh, to which uh, cities uh, interact with uh, uh, nature. Outside uh, the field of urban political ecology, uh, the urban metabolism has been uh, mainly conceptualized from a, a systems-based uh, uh, perspective. Um, I, uh, I, as, a, uh, as, a, as, a, as a concept that allows uh, characterizing uh, the growth and development of uh, urban social ecological systems. A notable example of a uh, systems uh, based approach to the urban metabolism is the way in which uh, uh, the urban metabolism has been conceptualized within the framework of industrial ecology. However, uh, concepts, uh, frameworks, and uh, <coughs> theories about the social ecological uh, uh, systems that are not directly linked to the urban metabolism uh, notion, but that are relevant uh, to research on urban metabolism, have been developed in uh, uh, fields uh, in, in fields that are also uh, systems uh, uh, based, uh, i.e., uh, urban ecology and uh, uh, social ecology. Uh, notable uh, exception, uh, uh, notwithstanding. 
system-based approaches have generally devoted limited attention uh, to the agentic dimensions uh, of the urban metabolism, uh, of the urban metabolism as a concept. Uh, and uh, i.e. Uh, they have devoted uh, they, they have uh, devoted limited attention to the to identify the different forms uh, of agency operating in urban social ecological systems in contrast to uh, systems uh, based approaches to the urban metabolism urban political ecology inspires account, inspired accounts of uh, metabolic exchanges uh, have uh, questions the relations between uh, uh, different forms uh, of agency that uh, can that operate uh, in uh, uh, cities and are part are constitutive of uh, uh, urban metabolic exchanges. In particular, uh, urban political ecology uh, urban political ecology has uh, engaged in critical dialogue with uh, uh, conceptualization of agency uh, coming from uh, philosophy and uh, uh, social sciences. In particular, they've engaged with new vitalist ontologies and uh, the actor network uh, theory, uh, against which they, they have generally argued uh, that uh, um, a divide should be maintained between uh, human and non-human forms of agency. Despite uh, uh, the uh, diversity that characterizes uh, urban political ecology uh, inspired accounts of uh, uh, the urban metabolism, those uh, uh, such accounts uh, uh, share a minimum uh, common denominator, which reduces to uh, three uh, core critical questions that, uh, that can be asked to clarify what uh, uh, is meant by agency in relation to the uh, urban metabolism. The first uh, question is uh, whose agency, and more specifically, what systems, processes, entities, uh, etc., can be identified identify as the actor possessing the agentic capacity in question, understood as the capacity to exert a certain influence and affect a certain form, a certain kind of uh, change. The second uh, question, critical question, is what is acted upon? i.e. Uh, what systems, uh, processes, entities, etc. constitute the target uh, of the actor's influence. Third, how, where uh, and when do uh, the actors in question ex exert their genetic capacities i.e. Uh, what are the concrete uh, special temporary and spatial temporary situated uh, events, uh, processes, etc., etc., by which uh, actors uh, uh, exert uh, their <coughs> influence and affect uh, uh, change on other actors or on their uh, surroundings. Those critical questions constitute uh, uh, the backbone for uh, uh, establishing a conceptual, for outlining a conceptual framework that uh, characterizes agentic features of urban social ecological structures and processes by connecting them with agentic dimensions constitutive of the urban metabolism concept, uh, concept itself. More specifically, uh, this, uh, uh, framework, this conceptual frameworks uh, connect, uh, 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 sorry, this conceptual framework characterizes agentic features of urban social ecological structures and processes processes by uh, showing how those same uh, features embody uh, kinds of agencies that determine how uh, the urban metabolism concept is defined and understood. Uh, therefore, uh, um, forms of agency that are constitutive of the meaning and the structure of, uh, of the meaning of the term urban metabolism and of the structure of the uh, urban metabolism concept. Starting uh, uh, from uh, those questions, uh, our article outlines agentic dimension dimensions at the core of the urban metabolism concept and shows uh, how such dimensions are embodied in structures and processes that comprise, that comprise urban socio-ecological systems. In particular, we analyze uh, a corpus of journal articles dealing with the urban metabolism and uh, with the theoretical foundations of uh, uh, 
systems-based uh, approaches to uh, the oral metabolism or relevant uh, uh, to uh, the oral metabolism, i.e. industrial ecology, urban ecology and social ecology. From this literature, we extract concepts that describe different forms of agency and are cognate uh, to the urban metabolism notion insofar as they are defined uh, through terms belonging to the semantic field of urban metabolism. By semantic field, we refer to a set of terms uh, with uh, a close relation in meaning, all of which can be subsumed under the same genre label, in our case, uh, the urban metabolism term itself. Our approach to uh, extracting concepts from, the concepts from the literature relies on two assumptions. First assumption, uh, the idea that concepts can be understood as the meanings or cognitive concept content expressed by corresponding terms. And the second uh, assumption is a distributional view of the meanings as expressed by those same <coughs> terms, uh, i.e. a view according to which uh, semantic properties of words uh, can be at least partially determined by analyzing their distributional properties uh, such as uh, uh, the um, concurrence patterns between those same words and other words in uh, particular in selected textual uh, units. Based on those assumptions and drawing on text mining and computational linguistic methods, we identify uh, the urban metabolism term semantic field as, for, as, uh, um, as conveyed by, by our corpus and map it with, via, via a semantic network, and more precisely via, via uh, four distinct uh, semantic uh, uh, network as networks as we will uh, see uh, in, the, in the reminder of this presentation. Finally, uh, we use the conceptual framework uh, that I have just outlined to highlight how the cognitive <coughs> concepts uh, as expressed by the, by the relations between terms mapped by uh, the semantic, uh, uh, net, those uh, semantic networks define fundamental agentic dimensions that are constitutive of the urban mechanism notion from a system-based and uh, sustainability-oriented perspective. Moreover, we uh, spotlight how identifying uh, uh, such agentic uh, uh, dimensions uh, uh, contributes to advancing uh, the uh, urban metabolism concept as a tool for uh, promoting urban sustainability, or more specifically the sustainability of urban social and ecological uh, systems by illuminating the agentic features specific to elements uh, that, cons that are constitutive of those same subsystems, in particular uh, specific to uh, subsy subsystems and processes uh, be identified within urban social, social ecological systems under certain conditions. Um, now I'm going to uh, delve into the methodology, results, uh, discussion uh, that our uh, uh, that uh, constitute the main uh, body of the our manuscript before uh, uh, drawing some conclusions. So. Uh, as for the uh, methodology, we uh, started by collecting a body of 24 uh, sources, uh, i.e. Uh, literature reviews or conceptual papers explicitly mentioning the term urban metabolism, and uh, also additional texts related uh, to either one of the systems uh, approaches to urban metabolism, uh, to, to uh, urban social ecological uh, systems, uh, uh, discussed uh, that I uh, mentioned, that I've just mentioned, or a mixture of uh, uh, those same uh, approaches. And just to show you, oops, sorry, nope. Here is the database of the uh, 24 uh, sources we identified. For instance, uh, we have uh, this uh, document, which is part on, of, a, um, uh, 
of a, of a book uh, uh, that uh, surveys uh, the conceptual uh, and methodological foundations uh, of the social, uh, the social ecology approach. And we also uh, included uh, uh, theoretic uh, literature reviews uh, about uh, uh, dealing with uh, urban metabolism. For instance, this literature review that uh, uh, relate that um, uh, deals with uh, uh, the, uh, the use of the of urban metabolism as a research framework for uh, studying sustainability. And this was just to give you an example of the kind of documents that we used to uh, constitute the, uh, the corpus that we analyzed. Based on those uh, twenty-four, uh, based on those twenty-four uh, source document, we identified uh, one thousand four hundred eighty-one uh, uh, relevant uh, uh, relevant journal articles that uh, were selected by browsing the, the uh, bibliography, the references uh, section of the twenty-four uh, document. And uh, which were screened uh, in order to, to um, uh, uh, only select uh, uh, research articles, editorials, uh, or, uh, or literature reviews written in English and uh, relevant to the content uh, of, the, uh, of the corresponding source document, rather than only to the methodology used uh, in the source document. And by doing so, uh, we uh, built a, a corpus of uh, documents published uh, between 1899 and 2023, uh, with uh, 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 well, with 82% uh, uh, of them uh, issued uh, uh, in the 2003-2023 period. And we also categorized uh, um, uh, those uh, uh, documents according to the disciplinary field by looking at uh, uh, relevant uh, uh, features, uh, such as, uh, uh, for instance, uh, title, uh, <coughs> first author, author, publication venue, author, uh, or in this keyword, uh, content, uh, and the source document uh, uh, mentioning them. And as you can see, uh, there is uh, a quantitative bias towards uh, uh, industrial ecology, which consists, which uh, constitutes uh, the main, uh, uh, the main uh, disciplinary affiliation of the uh, of the document uh, uh, we collected, and which is also and this bias also related to the fact that uh, industrial ecology is uh, the uh, field in which uh, the term. Or metabolism and the concept of urban metabolism are more widely uh, used uh, in opposition to uh, the other uh, others, the other systems-based uh, approaches in which uh, to, to uh, uh, social ecological systems uh, in which we were interested. Based on this uh, selection, we extracted from uh, uh, Scopus and Google Scholar the abstract titles and, when available, author or index keywords of the uh, references that selected. And uh, we assembled those uh, uh, elements into documents pre-processed -pre uh, through our uh, packages UtPipe and Quantida to abide by standard pre-processing uh, practices. Uh, therefore, all such documents uh, uh, were homogenized, uh, grammatically annotated uh, using a part of speech uh, tagging algorithms, uh, uh, tokenized to extract uh, individual uh, uh, word uh, tokens contained in those uh, uh, documents, uh, lemmatized, uh, uh, etc., uh, etc. And uh, uh, subsequently, we used uh, uh, the R package Quantida to generate possible multi-board expressions in the form of engrams. 
I, uh, phrases of n consecutive tokens uh, uh, occurring in the same document and identified that was lighting with no filter filter based on the tokens we uh, previously selected and uh, uh, reviewed in this way each uh, uh, document was uh, represented as a bag of one to five engrams i.e. a collection of uh, monograms uh, individual tokens bigrams uh, uh, to word expressions and etc etc uh, up to uh, uh, pentagrams five word expressions and this is for instance uh, uh, so this uh, um, you can see on the uh, right side of the screen uh, an example of a, uh, of a, of a document so uh, that we constituted by uh, pasting title, uh, abstract uh, and uh, uh, available keyword and this document was uh, uh, represented as a bag of uh, uh, one to five engrams, that you can, uh, of which you can see uh, uh, an excerpt uh, on the other side. So uh, the, the the left side uh, uh, represent left side document represent the uh, um, actual input uh, that we use to uh, perform our analysis. And uh, um, we performed uh, a statistical test on the uh, on the engrams we had uh, uh, um, we had uh, uh, built uh, to um, uh, minimize the, the, the risk of uh, including uh, uh, meaningless expressions in our in our selection. And we did we perform some uh, additional cleaning by remo removing uh, and, and uh, really uh, frequent uh, engrams and uh, uh, meaningless or redundant uh, engrams. And we end up with a uh, uh, lexicon of <coughs> seventeen one hundred thirty unique terms, and we. Uh, an analy that we analyzed uh, by uh, applying the, um, uh, the methodology uh, that is uh, portrayed in uh, this figure. So we started by uh, um, we uh, split our uh, corpus into two subcorpora, a subcorpus of uh, uh, reference and a subcorpus of interest. Subcorpus of uh, reference uh, included, uh, uh, sorry, subcorpus of interest included only uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, 251 uh, documents uh, containing uh, the uh, term liver <coughs> metabolism itself, whereas uh, the subcorpus of uh, reference uh, contain, uh, contained only uh, contained the remaining uh, 1,200. Uh, 30 uh, documents and uh, by, uh, by, by, uh, uh, by, divide, by splitting the corpus uh, in uh, this way we uh, were able to uh, adopt a, a, a computational corpus driven uh, linguistic uh, approach to the analysis uh, of the differences between uh, uh, those two subcorpus that rely on a particular, uh, uh, on a specific uh, uh, log likelihood uh, test statistic to um, uh, assess uh, how statistically uh, meaningful, how statistically significant the differences uh, uh, between uh, uh, how statistically uh, significant the differences between frequencies of words uh, uh, in uh, the two subcorpus are. More specifically, uh, we uh, we use the subcorpus of reference as a general uh, backdrop uh, to test the specificity of uh, the words contained in uh, the subcorpus of interest i.e. the specificity of words uh, uh, co-occurring with uh, the term urban metabolism 
by uh, uh, by uh, testing the sig the, uh, the significance uh, the statistical significance of the differences between the relative frequencies of those co-occurring co co words in the subcorpus of interest and the subcorpus of reference. Those uh, uh, statistical differences can be regarded as quantifying the linguistic significance or keyness of the term considered for characterizing the content of the documents uh, uh, comprised by the subcorpus of interest as opposed, for instance, to their uh, stylistic features, to the stylistic features of those same documents. The analysis of such differences thus provides basic insight into uh, <coughs> how uh, the terms in question constitute a semantic field as uh, previously defined. Um, is it clear or are there questions about uh, this first uh, uh, logical aspect. So, um, by doing so, uh, we uh, identified uh, 271 uh, significant term, uh, keywords uh, and uh, key multi-word expressions in the form of uh, uh, engrams. And uh, uh, Based on uh, uh, those, uh, so in this selection, we uh, identified uh, positive, uh, quote unquote, positive uh, keywords and uh, uh, key multi word expressions, i.e., uh, uh, keywords uh, and key expressions uh, whose uh, frequency in uh, the subcorpus of interest uh, was statistically uh, was uh, higher than their frequency in the other subcorpus uh, in a statistically significant fashion and uh, uh, negative keywords and uh, key multi-word expressions i.e. keywords and uh, key multi-word expressions that are underused in the subcorpus of interest uh, and the po so the positive uh, significant terms uh, can be the, the positive significant terms uh, thus identified can be uh, regarded as uh, uh, constituting the core of uh, the uh, of the semantic field associated with uh, the term urban metabolism, whereas uh, the other uh, significant terms, uh, the quote unquote negative ones, can be understood can be regarded as uh, uh, tracing the boundaries of this same. Uh, 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 semantic field, i.e. identifying um, uh, fault, uh, fault lines uh, along which uh, the semantic field of the urban metabolism, uh, of the term urban metabolism can be uh, seen as uh, intersecting with uh, the semantic fields of other terms uh, present in uh, uh, the corpus uh, we analyzed. Once we extracted our uh, 271 significant terms, we adopted uh, a, 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 well, we, we uh, computed the various indicators to assess uh, the uh, relations between uh, those same terms. For instance, uh, we uh, computed the uh, Simpson coefficient who is a measure of the strength of the concurrence between uh, two terms from a set theoretical standpoint. We also compute the term frequency, inverse document uh, frequencies of uh, uh, those terms and our significant terms and uh, this uh, other, uh, this, uh, other uh, indicator uh, allows uh, to uh, measure the relevance of a certain uh, uh, term T with respect to a document in which this same term is uh, uh, contained. Third, we computed an aggregate disciplinary score for each uh, significant term uh, document pair 
based on the corresponding uh, term frequencies in term frequency inverse document frequency. In, in, to uh, summarize roughly, we use the the term uh, frequency um, the for each uh, uh, term document pair. We use the corresponding uh, TF IDF value and a disciplinary score attributed to uh, the uh, document in question based based on uh, its uh, disciplinary appellation. For instance, one. Uh, Industrial ecology score of one if the document was uh, affiliated, uh, <coughs> if the documents uh, uh, only, only uh, disciplinary affiliation was to industrial ecology, one half if, if it was a uh, document, uh, if the document was uh, affiliated to industrial ecology and another discipline, etc. etc. And by weighing the uh, corresponding TF uh, IDF values. Uh, by um, uh, the uh, disciplinary affiliation score, this disciplinary affiliation uh, scores attributed to the document, <laughs> we computed uh, uh, disciplinary scores uh, for a different uh, for each uh, disciplinary score for each term, uh, measuring the affinity of uh, this term for uh, a particular uh, discipline. And fourth. The uh, relative frequency, uh, or more specifically, the relative uh, uh, yearly frequency of a term, which measures this term frequency uh, relative to the year in question, i.e., uh, the uh, uh, share of uh, what the, the, the ratio between uh, the frequency of the term in question for a given year and with respect to the total number of uh, terms contained in the documents published this same year. And using the R package uh, uh, WGCNA, we computed uh, uh, four pairwise, uh, four pairwise uh, Spearman rank correlation coefficients, uh, one for each uh, indicator, uh, four pairs of significant terms. The set of coefficients that's calculated for each pair of uh, terms uh, measure the ordinal similarity of those same, of those same terms' occurrence patterns along uh, four dimensions, in particular co-occurrence with the other terms uh, in the case of pairwise correlation between Simpson coefficients, occurrence in relevant documents uh, in the case of pairwise correlation between uh, uh, TF and IDF values, Occurrence in classes of relevant documents assigned to the same discipline or disciplines in the case of correlation between uh, aggregate discipline scores and occurrence uh, across time in the case of correlation between uh, uh, relative yearly frequencies. Finally, uh, we uh, averaged above, uh, we averaged over all uh, those uh, uh, sets of four uh, uh, correlation. Uh, pairwise correlation coefficients uh, for each uh, uh, pairs of significant terms in order to synthesize this wealth of information. And uh, uh, we, uh, in this way, uh, we computed uh, uh, um, an average correlation, pairwise correlation matrix for our uh, uh, significant terms, uh, in particular, uh, and notably through the intermediary of uh, uh, Fisher's uh, Z -transform Zeta transformation, which is uh, uh, um, uh, a, a, a mathematical transformation that is uh, widely adopted for comparing and aggregating correlation uh, coefficients uh, by mapping uh, correlation coefficients uh, over uh, um, almost uh, uh, normal distributed uh, 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 Sorry, and almost normally uh, distributed uh, uh, variables uh, and uh, uh, and back uh, and and then uh, mapping uh, this uh, the value the instances of this uh, of this uh, uh, quasi-normal distribution back uh, to uh, the original coefficient. So um, we adopted this methodology for uh, three reasons. 
First, because we wanted to extract terms in the form of keywords or key multi-word expressions that significantly characterize a specific section of uh, our corpus. Second, we want to identify within such a set of significant terms groups of words and multi-word expression that appear to be similar along multiple di dimensions. And third, we wanted to amplify the similarity among those, the elements of those same groups by average, averaging correlation coefficients. And uh, um, you, uh, once uh, uh, we uh, computed, uh, uh, once we analyzed, uh, we, we uh, computed, computed all those uh, uh, average uh, uh, correlation coefficients, we um, uh, we operated a further selection on the significant terms we identified. In particular, we split uh, those terms in uh, four uh, uh, categories based on uh, three uh, cutoff points uh, that corresponded to uh, values of the uh, pairwise uh, Simpson coefficient uh, uh, between uh, those terms and the urban metabolism term. More specifically, uh, you here you can see on the screen uh, the distribution of the uh, relevant uh, terms uh, with respect to their uh, pairwise Simpson coefficient with the uh, urban metabolism. And terms uh, uh, that uh, uh, whose uh, Simpson coefficient value is uh, lower than uh, 28 constitute the lower um, the constitute terms uh, that uh, are uh, constitute negative quote unquote negative significant terms, i.e. terms that are uh, that are uh, uh, only uh, weakly associated uh, with uh, uh, proper metabolism uh, using the Simpson coefficient as a measure of association. Terms uh, whose uh, Simpson coefficient values are uh, um, are between uh, fall between uh, 28 and 50 uh, constitute uh, uh, the uh, lower tail of a group of terms that are minorly associated with the uh, urban uh, with term urban metabolism. Uh, terms uh, whose uh, uh, Simpson coefficient values are uh, fall. Uh, uh, within uh, the uh, within uh, a range going from uh, 50 to 80, constitute uh, the upper tail of terms that are still only, only mildly associated with uh, urban metabolism. Whereas uh, uh, terms uh, whose uh, pyruvate Simpson coefficient with respect to the urban metabolism term is uh, greater than 80, constitute terms that uh, are uh, closely uh, very significantly occurring with uh, the term urban metabolism and therefore can be regarded as constituting the core of uh, the um, uh, semantic field associated with uh, the urban metabolism term. By uh, operating this uh, selection we identified uh, four uh, groups of uh, terms that uh, we uh, use to um, uh, to uh, plot uh, four uh, semantic networks, each uh, corresponding to a layer of uh, uh, the semantic field associated with the term urban metabolism. In particular, uh, for uh, for for each one of those four uh, group. We uh, represented we represented the terms contained in uh, uh, that group as nodes in uh, the corresponding uh, semantic network. We only retain positive and strong, uh, positive strong, uh, statistically significant uh, pairwise correlation coefficients uh, among terms. Uh, more specifically, correlation coefficients that were greater than 0.95. Then we uh, we use those cor those correlation coefficients to uh, uh, establish a list of uh, um, uh, of uh, uh, edges for uh, each network. Then we performed a clustering analysis on uh, uh, the different networks 
using the Luvan community uh, detection model. And uh, for each cluster in each network, we uh, then selected up to eight uh, influential nodes based on their eigenvector centrality, which is a measure of influence uh, that considers uh, both uh, the degree, i.e. the number of connections of a given node, and the degrees of uh, its uh, neighboring nodes. In this, uh, uh, in this uh, way, uh, we uh, managed to plot those uh, four networks. So this is uh, uh, the uh, first network which uh, uh, represents uh, the uh, terms uh, that are weakly associated with uh, urban metabolism and constitute the four, the, four, uh, the uh, boundaries of the uh, of the uh, metabol of, sorry, of the uh, uh, of the semantic field associated with this term. As you can see, uh, the um, this network consists of uh, uh, four, uh, four clusters and is structured by the term uh, biodiversity, uh, human, biophysical, uh, science, uh, and uh, uh, biodiversity. Not human diversity or it's not Yeah, but more is the same. <laughs> <Okay. coughs> And I'm missing one. Uh, so biodiversity, human earth science, and biophysical. Yeah. So um, to to go uh, to interpret uh, this uh, uh, a network like this one, we uh, identified uh, documents uh, that uh, are uh, likely to provide. Uh, relevant uh, context uh, to the meaning of uh, uh, the different terms uh, either uh, at the uh, network level or at the cluster level. More specifically, uh, for each, uh, um, for each uh, uh, pair, uh, sorry, for, for, uh, for, for each cluster, for each network and for each cluster in each network, uh, we uh, score the relevance of uh, uh, all the documents contained in the corpus with uh, respect to the uh, networks or uh, the cluster structuring terms in the following way. We uh, selected each uh, structuring terms uh, uh, term, frequency, term frequency in direct document frequency values. We weighed those values by the total number of uh, relevant uh, structuring terms contained in the corresponding documents, and then we computed uh, an average value for each uh, uh, document and ranked uh, the document in uh, descending order. And this way, We built a sort of interpretation matrix for each uh, network and each class and each network. We recorded the corresponding most influential terms based on eigenvector centrality, and uh, we associated um, relevant documents uh, uh, calculated according to the scores uh, computed, uh, as I just mentioned. So uh, documents uh, either from uh, the whole corpus or document from the subcorpus of interest. And document from the uh, subcorpus of uh, reference.
So for instance, two, uh, well, to, to uh, answer your question, the term Baltimore is uh, refers to the city and uh, is uh, uh, the reason why it features in this uh, uh, cluster because uh, this cluster is associated with a, a series of studies that uh, were uh, uh, conducted in the city of Baltimore, the urban area of Baltimore and in Phoenix. For instance, uh, uh, relationships between canopy and crime spreads yeah. across the urban rural greater Baltimore region. Exactly. Yeah. And there is some other was yes. more like Baltimore school of thought. Yeah exactly. And before the day. Yeah exactly because um, the Baltimore is uh, has been the, the, the site of a, a long term long, long term ecological uh, research project uh, uh, conducted within the framework uh, of a particular uh, school within the field of urban ecology uh, that is uh, uh, relevant uh, for uh, our analysis of the urban metabolism concept because uh, uh, this uh, school uh, provided and uh, uh, developed uh, 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 an, a framework for uh, uh, studying urban social ecological uh, systems uh, um, more specifically for integrating the social uh, aspects uh, and the uh, biophysical uh, uh, ecological aspects of ecosystems uh, that uh, is uh, uh, partially uh, uh, comparable partially alternative to uh, f to how the, the uh, to how urban social ecological systems have been uh, conceptualized for instance within uh, the field of industrial ecology Back to the uh, network. So, <coughs> the um, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, network comprises uh, uh, four, uh, four clusters and uh, uh, the, uh, the dominant clusters are uh, cluster 4 and cluster 1. Cluster 4 because it contains uh, uh, biodiversity which is the most uh, influential uh, Term, the most influential, which is the term uh, represented by the most influential nodes, uh, no, node in uh, in uh, in the network, and cluster one because it contains uh, uh, the remaining four, uh, um, the uh, re re remaining four uh, uh, structural term. So, and if we. Uh, go back to the interpretation matrix <coughs> so um, documents uh, uh, that uh, uh, are uh, th that are listed among the uh, ten most uh, uh, relevant documents from the whole corpus to the structuring term that characterize this particular uh, cluster, and uh, which contain the term biodiversity are, uh, for instance, uh, uh, Martinez Allier. 2009, Social Metabolism and Ecological Distribution Conflicts and uh, Languages of Variation. Martinez Salier et al. 2010, Social Metabolism and Ecological Distribution Conflicts and Variation of Languages. Um, 
Greeks et al, Sustainable Development Goals uh, for People and Planet. Uh, and uh, Shandle and et al, 2018, Global Material Flows and Resource Productivity, 40 Years of Evidence. If we look, sorry. Yeah, but I was wondering, for example, there is this big one from Herbridge and Peters that is like uh, basically an uh, environmental standard input output analysis of uh, nations. And I don't know like how, because it's basically see the, 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 the trade of, uh, of several countries and see the environmental uh, embedded impacts of, of it. Uh, which is sort of like a series of uh, like a whole thing of input output analysis. But like it, I don't think it considers uh, biodiversity uh, in this uh, particular paper. Yeah, and because of uh, Yeah, so I was wondering like what were the links of this like uh, paper towards this uh, word biodiversity in these cases? I can uh, show you more in depth. Uh, okay. That's more related with the semantics of the whole. If the word appears. So the word, uh, the yeah. or sorry, uh, just to uh, maybe clarify rapidly before going in more detail. So uh, the uh, the documents uh, here contain at least one yes. of those words. Yeah. And uh, the ranking of the words is based uh, on uh, uh, the influence, uh, the, the, the degree of influence within the network itself. But the degree of influence is calculated uh, on the correlation, based on the correlation uh, uh, coefficients, which uh, considers not only uh, concurrence in the same uh, uh, document, uh, but also uh, similarity of patterns, for instance, uh, if two words are used, uh, co -co never concur, but they are uh, always, uh, sorry, but the two words never concur, but they are always used in documents uh, of the same uh, disciplinary affiliation, there will be a connection that will show up uh, between those two words, an indirect connection mm -hmm. mediated through the disciplinary, disciplinary affiliation. But uh, in those, uh, uh, as the documents, uh, they all contain at least one of uh, those words. Mm -hmm. And more precisely, I think that we are Biodiversity. So this is a matrix, uh, and uh, the uh, the content of its of each uh, cell uh, shows the documents in which uh, the row column, the sorry, the row term and the column term occur, and those uh, documents are listed in order, in a ranking order, relevance order, based uh, on the the average uh, relevance score for the two terms. 
And so, for instance, uh, biodiversity, uh, all the documents, all the, the most relevant documents that contain biodiversity are those listed in this cell, and they are the one that I was mentioning before. And Hartwick uh, um, and Peters, uh, uh, they show up with respect to environmental policy and nation. Basically, they, they allow the, they, they connect uh, the, the Hartwick and Peters uh, is something that connect uh, environmental policy and nation and that uh, uh, provide uh, context uh, on the relation between those two words uh, in the framework of the cluster. And uh, for instance, to go back to. Uh, The term uh, biodiversity. So uh, the four most relevant terms to understanding the uh, meaning of the uh, uh, term biodiversity within the context set by uh, cluster four are the one I was mentioning before, Chandel, the two Martinez Ali, and uh, uh, Greeks. Um, the two, uh, Martinez et al. 2009 and 2010, uh, they uh, connect the biodiversity with uh, extraction, uh, nation, and world. <coughs> Specifically, they use concepts from uh, uh, social ecology, such as the concept of social metabolism and uh, uh, human appropriation of uh, net uh, primary production to frame uh, biodiversity as the object of uh, uh, distribution and conflicts uh, over ecological uh, uh, goods and uh, services that poor, uh, poor nations, uh, uh, nations from the uh, global south, must face in a globalized economy. Uh, whereas Greeks uh, link biodiversity to environmental policy, policy and nation in uh, discussing the preservation of Earth's life support as a priority for the United Nations Sustainable Developmental Goals. And more specifically, uh, Greeks uses, uh, Greeks et al, the authors, use the concept of planetary boundaries, i.e. Uh, parameter values describing the limits beyond which uh, anthropogenic perturbations of uh, core planetary processes uh, threaten uh, uh, the planet Earth's uh, uh, global ecological stability. And through this concept, they characterize the rate uh, of biodiversity loss as a core, quote unquote, uh, Earth system process uh, that is subject to anthropogenic influence. And uh, uh, finally, Sean de Tal highlights the relation between uh, biodiversity and the remaining four, and the, and the four remaining cluster four structuring terms in the analysis of a data set tracing. Uh, global material flows from 1970 to 2010 as a support for environmental uh, policy making. 
uh, through this, by, by tracing uh, to, to this analysis of uh, global material flow, the authors account for the rate of biodiversity loss in uh, uh, countries from the global south, especially uh, Asia. Uh, through uh, the concept of material extraction, i.e. by attributing, by ascribing this uh, loss to a worldwide, worldwide acceleration in the extraction, trade and use of materials uh, such as, uh, for instance, uh, fossil fuels or uh, uh, metal ores. <coughs> And uh, so this is an example of uh, how uh, a cluster can be interpreted based uh, on the structuring terms, the relation between structuring terms, and the context uh, providing documents. And uh, <coughs> for each uh, uh, network, we uh, interpreted uh, uh, the two dominant uh, uh, cluster and uh, if necessary, uh, other clusters, and then we used uh, the uh, three core questions uh, outlined that I uh, outlined at the beginning of this presentation to uh, identify how the interpretation of the clusters allows uh, uh, characterizing the uh, forms of agency that uh, can be uh, seen as being uh, captured and described by uh, the network, uh, by, by each, uh, uh, each one of the uh, different four networks. And I'm just to skip to the end, I'm going to show you uh, the uh, four uh, Network rapidly. Affichage. Merci. Dans l'écran 39. Non, c'est plus. I'm such a number. So, uh, okay, so this is still a network four, uh, sorry, network one, uh, cluster one, uh, and the one I just, uh, sorry, cluster four is the one I just uh, described uh, uh, rapidly. Uh, cluster uh, uh, one is the other dominant cluster and uh, um, basically this uh, uh, cluster uh, uh, cluster one and uh, uh, cluster uh, two can be see can be interpreted as identifying an integrating an integrated earth system and encompassing complex ecosystem at different scale as the target of uh, human led planetary social ecological processes, for instance international trade. And in particular uh, documents associated with uh, those two clusters, for instance uh, Griggs et al. and I just mentioned, explicitly tie such processes to uh, changes uh, at the uh, global, at the planetary level, that are generally associated with the concept of the Anthropocene. Therefore, this connection, the connection between uh, um, uh, the concept of Anthropocene and the kind of processes uh, affecting the integrated Earth system that are described by the documents associated with the two uh, cluster, suggests a view of humanity as an ecological force that contributes to shaping an integrated Earth system. And we can thus infer that uh, Network 1 captures the anthropocenic quote unquote dimension of human agency, i.e., the form of agency exerted by humanity, albeit not as a homogeneous whole, um, as an ecological force operating within and constitutive of the integrated Earth system. And then uh, um, the Cluster 3 is fairly marginal, but Cluster 2 uh, um, provides uh, um, relevant information, for instance, uh, uh, regarding the uh, particular uh, uh, mechanisms and uh, uh, events, events and processes through which this uh, anthropocenic agency is uh, exerted. In particular, the term disturbance um, through its association with particular uh, uh, context providing, providing documents, uh, um, 
allows to uh, draw the connection between the concept of ecological disturbance as uh, it has been developed within the framework of urban ecology and the way in which the term disturbance is used in uh, uh, some uh, um, in uh, uh, studies about the urban metabolism through, uh, to, to uh, frame the, uh, um, the, the alterations of uh, metabolic uh, processes uh, uh, within uh, urban ecological systems due to imbalances in uh, the true, flu true flow of uh, materials and energy as uh, uh, analogous to uh, metabolic disorders. Therefore, this concept of uh, disturbance in, the, in two very different contexts, uh, one context more, uh, uh, ins more uh, inspired by the framework, of, the conceptual framework of urban ecology and uh, uh, devoted to the analysis of uh, uh, ecosystems at different uh, uh, ecosystems as uh, uh, social ecological systems, but at different scales and different, uh, uh, in different uh, circumstances, let's say. And on the other hand, uh, uh, <coughs> I, I, you, um, the term of disturbance as used uh, within the concept of industrial ecology, specifically with respect to urban metabolism, and the connection between those two, the, the, the way in which the term disturbance is used in those two different contexts, uh, uh, allowed to uh, draw up on, uh, allowed to um, uh, uh, suggest uh, that uh, this term uh, can be seen as referring to functional and structural alterations in processes that are specific to cities as heterogeneous yet integrated natural uh, social systems. And therefore, uh, this uh, term, term disturbance within the context uh, of uh, cluster two can be uh, used to characterize the way in which uh, this uh, anthropogenic uh, um, anthropocenic agency uh, is exerted at different uh, levels from uh, uh, the level of uh, uh, cities to the level of the whole earth by uh, uh, and more specifically uh, in, by virtue of the fact that uh, cities as uh, urban social ecological systems uh, are uh, embedded in broader uh, social ecological systems and uh, by virtue of the fact that uh, the metabolisms of uh, urban social ecological systems can be seen as being embedded in the metabolisms of wider systems uh, for example regional systems, uh, national systems uh, and even more general uh, processes uh, that can be either social, uh, socio socioeconomic, for instance, uh, uh, the global uh, flows of material and energy driven by international trade, or uh, very broad and general uh, biogeochemical uh, cycles. Am I going to? Uh just show rapidly the other three class, the other three networks. So network uh, two is um, uh, represents uh, uh, the relations between terms uh, that uh, uh, constitute the lower tail of the terms mildly associated with the metabolism. Consists of uh, four uh, clusters. It's uh, uh, structured uh, by uh, the term uh, um, waste, uh, uh, waste uh, urban system, uh, material flow, sustainable, urban sustainability, and the dominant clusters are cluster three here, left, and uh, cluster two on the uh, right. Net 
network uh, three, uh, which corresponds to the upper end of the group uh, of uh, uh, documents, uh, uh, of, sorry, of terms, uh, uh, mainly associated with urban metabolism, uh, uh, comprises three clusters, uh, is structured by the terms uh, city, flow, urban resource, metabolic and flow city, and uh, uh, the dominant uh, uh, cluster is a cluster one, which contains uh, three out of five structuring terms. And network four, which uh, constitute the core of the, um, which represents the core of the semantic field associated with the uh, metabolism, uh, comprises five uh, uh, clusters and is structured by the term uh, metabolism, urban. Metabolic flow, uh, metabolic metabolism research, and metabolism assessment. And the dominant uh, cluster is uh, the central one, which uh, consists of the nodes represented: term uh, metabolism, urban method, urban metabolism research, <coughs> and metabolism assessment. So and. just to give you a sense of uh, how the interpretation of those four clusters uh, um, can yield as an outcome a uh, characterization of the different agentic dimensions identified in the literature. This interpretation matrix might need some updating, but uh, pardon. The uh, last one. Uh, ah, yeah. thank you. So, for instance, this uh, uh, this first row uh, is basically a summary of the. Uh, uh, of the demonstration that I of the, of the interpretation uh, that I presented uh, um, that I just presented uh, uh, let's say orally and uh, so the network uh, network one uh, characterizes the uh, anthropocentric agency of humanity uh, and the concept of cross scale ecological disturbance uh, as uh, uh, Expressed by uh, the, uh, the class cluster uh, uh, cluster four, and uh, sorry, cluster uh, two. Uh, there is a little mismatch because uh, I uh, the, the well the list of words should be updated, but uh, it's uh, the cluster cluster two I showed uh, before. So um, this concept of cross ecological disturbance is central in characterizing the, this particular aspect of humanities agency, uh, of humanities anthropocentric agency. Network uh, uh, two uh, characterizes uh, um, uh, different kind of agencies underpinning uh, assessment, uh, urbanism based assessments uh, of uh, the sustainability of urban social, social ecological systems. In particular, uh, the, uh, uh, the conceptual, uh, like quote unquote, conceptual and abstract agency that uh, is exerted by factors that can be uh, identified and quantified by. Uh, sustainable by uh, indicators, uh, for instance, uh, indicators that uh, uh, rely, that can be uh, 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 indicators that uh, uh, 
uh, that rely on the conceptual framework of uh, material flow analysis. Uh, and the other uh, um, uh, kind, the other form of agency that is captured by this uh, uh, network is the concrete uh, agency uh, that is exerted by uh, the policy makers, uh, 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 practitioners, stakeholders uh, that uh, uh, contribute to selecting those indicators and applying them to um, to promote uh, the sustainability of cities and uh, social ecological systems in general. And we're going to skip to the last uh, network, network four, which uh, um, through the concept of urban metabol metabolic system uh, allows identifying a particular form of agency that is uh, that, that is uh, relevant to understanding how the concept of urban metabolism is uh, defined and used in the literature we analyzed. And it is the cybernetic agency that an urban, urban sociological systems components exert as, met as metabolic actors on one another and indirectly on uh, uh, the whole social ecological systems uh, uh, in which they are comprised uh, since this structure constitutes uh, a sort of, uh, uh, to the extent to which these structures constitute uh, uh, an ecological hierarchy. So this, uh, uh, this um, uh, aspect uh, of uh, uh, the agency uh, of uh, uh, the metabolism of urban uh, uh, social ecological systems is uh, uh, tied to a series, uh, um, uh, uh, strain of research in industrial ecology which uses uh, MRG based models, uh, models uh, based on the concept of uh, embodied uh, energy as a universal equivalent uh, that can be used to uh, uh, quantify the exchange, exchanges of uh, uh, energy in different uh, forms and which is tied to a particular approach to uh, the study of uh, ecological systems in general and this is it is uh, the <coughs> approach developed by um, uh, Howard uh, Odum and uh, that I mentioned in, uh, in last month's presentation and therefore this uh, aspect is particularly interesting also from a, from a uh, epistemological and historical uh, point of view uh, in order to trace uh, um, uh, the genealogy of uh, particular approaches uh, uh, to the urban metabolism that are still uh, being used and also to try to identify, to identify concepts uh, that uh, um, underlie uh, particular methods uh, like for instance uh, MRG analysis and more specifically concepts of agency that, can, that could be uh, de defined and extracted from uh, uh, studies uh, using uh, such methods. And to uh, conclude, so um, our uh, uh, our analysis uh, identify actors that are either components, subsystems, and sub, sub processes of urban social ecological systems, like for instance, the case of uh, uh, Network Four, uh, which is particularly representative or structural features of the analytical and normative contexts context that allow identifying such systems. The urban uh, metabolism related characterization of agency that provided by uh, the conceptual framework uh, that I presented at the beginning of this, uh, of this talk thus entails uh, that uh, urban sustainability depends uh, on the interplay between different forms of agency that can be ascribed to elements constitutive of urban socio-ecological systems themselves. In this sense, our conceptual framework sheds light uh, on the urban metabolism uh, notions uh, potential as a tool for understanding and achieving urban sustainability by foregrounding the agency of structures and processes that comprise urban social ecological systems and those uh, conclusions have to be at however those conclusions have to be taken with uh, some caveats uh, because for instance they reflect uh, the quantitative bias towards uh, industrial ecology um, that is uh, um, present in uh, our source documents uh, 
Second, uh, um, the results of our analysis uh, depend on the, uh, the effectiveness uh, of uh, the pre-processing techniques uh, that we chose uh, to, to pre to uh, treat the documents before uh, the analysis. And third, uh, the relations uh, mapped by the semantic networks uh, presented in the paper are predicated on uh, a, a correct estimation of the uh, correlation between the different uh, aspects of the pattern, of the distribution patterns of the world uh, uh, we consider. And this uh, implies using slightly the most suitable metrics, uh, for instance, uh, Pearson uh, correlation coefficient uh, as an alternative to the uh, Spearman uh, correlation coefficient or the candle style correlation coefficients, which can be often cause for debate. And uh, since I have, have been talking for far too long, I think that's it. Uh, Elisabetta and Eason, who are, my, who are working with me on the different aspects of this project uh, uh, on the uh, dealing with the metabolism from the conceptual uh, side and from the modern side. So, if there I welcome any, any and all questions. Uh, uh, just, uh, okay. Start? okay. Thank you for the presentation. It was uh, super clear. Uh, at least the methodology aspects, the methodological aspects were super organized and clear and uh, replicable. I was just uh, one technical question. Uh, when you were searching for the terms um, in the um, articles. Was it uh, relevant where uh, were the, the terms placed in the article, like in the corpus of the article, in the introduction, in the uh, results, uh, or near a verb? Because when you're doing text mining, normally you can uh, uh, pay attention to, to that. Uh, just, uh, just wondering if you can Thank you. Uh, so, um, to answer your question, uh, we uh, we select for, for each uh, uh, for each article we selected the title, uh, we extracted the title, the abstract, uh, and associated keywords. Okay. So uh, we only consider those parts of the of those okay. sections of the article, and. Uh, as for the second part of your question, uh, so um, the, the relative position of words uh, is captured by the use of engrams. Mm -hmm. So by introducing uh, multi-word expressions, we try to take into account the context of different uh, words. Uh, and this, uh, we opted for this solution because it was uh, uh, conducive to our uh, goal, which was to uh, identify, to, to map the semantic field for the expression urban metabolism. So we wanted to be able to uh, 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 perform a keyword analysis uh, with multi word expressions. And this, uh, the use of, multi of engrams to uh, capture multi word expressions uh, was also a way to introduce uh, context, uh, relevant uh, context into this uh, keyboard analysis. Okay. So you didn't uh, screen the whole text? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
I actually just to continue because it, you said at the beginning there were like 24 articles, right? That you were uh, the, the sources documented. The no. sources. Oh yeah, to scan them. No. No. Yeah. I guess that if you want to expand it to the whole text, uh, it would be a large, uh, larger matrix. But anyhow, like if you if you if you tokenize it and then you create engrams. And then you, you do a pre-selection of the uh, most frequent uh, engrams using the indicators that you have, like frequency and Simpson coefficient and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But but doesn't the the Simpson coefficient come from the currents matrix, where you have to put like every single one of the engrams, both one, two, three, four, five, together, and then the documents? Um, I'm just I'm just it's a curiosity of mine because I wanted to understand. Um, um, Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah. Maybe, maybe just uh, uh, first it was an extension of like what would happen if you use the whole text, yeah. the number of uh, 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 rows that uh, you use in a matrix. You kind of define it depending on the engrams you decide to select. Uh, but if and if you use the text, uh, it, you will still have a you know arbitrary decision on, on the, how the matrix would would, would be. Um, but also, like, uh, yeah, uh, like the, the, the decision of uh, how many engrams you use, them, uh, I, I wanted to understand, is defined. Uh, uh, you use a query currents matrix. That's kind of what I. Yeah, I that's the that basis. That's the basis. Yeah. So the the large the, the, the scale of the, the, this matrix depends on the amount of engrams you decide to choose exactly. uh, from these. So, like, um, if you use uh, uh, the whole text, um, you would have a more large amount of data to extract from uh, to, to to create uh, your coherence matrix. Because from the keywords, it's uh, at least in a way it's good. Uh, I use also keywords, but it's still limited if you want to dive into the stuff of the paper. I don't know, like, if have you thought of it, or has like computational string of some sorts? Uh, thank you for the question. Yeah, uh, actually, um, so we have to um, um, uh, we were faced uh, with a trade-off uh, between uh, 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 well, let's say completeness uh, and uh, let's say computational cost associated with. Uh, mm -hmm. Analyzing whole uh, articles uh, or uh, using uh, um, or, or trying to to or introducing uh, higher uh, let's say higher order um, engrams and therefore we set well first we we decide to use uh, for each document uh, title abstract and keywords because uh, it seemed to us a good compromise between only using the abstract uh, or using the whole uh, uh, document. Uh, and uh, because uh, in this way we can, we could, uh, uh, well, we, we were, let's say, we start from the assumption that uh, uh, abstract, uh, since there is a very tight uh, uh, word, Word count that is the word count limits uh, limit limitation sorry there are tight word count limits that are applied to them. We start from the assumption that uh, abstract uh, can be regarded as uh, containing um, uh, let's say words that are uh, who, whose weight uh, is uh, important uh, for at least uh, from the point of view of those who wrote the authors of the article mm -hmm. and then we decided to expand uh, to do a, to, to expand uh, albeit in a limited way by intro by including the uh, title and the keywords uh, starting from a similar assumption i.e. from the assumption that uh, sometimes uh, author they uh, like choose uh, the title uh, choose which words to, intro to use in the title and the keywords uh, uh, in a way, this complementary with respect to the uh, to the words uh, that they to the term that they that they chose to use in the in the abstract uh, itself, and yeah, and also to answer your question with respect to the Simpson coefficient, so basically 
the synchronous coefficient it is a set theoretical uh, measure uh, that uh, basically corresponds to the ratio between uh, the size uh, of the subset uh, of uh, documents uh, in which uh, the oops, which terms uh, i and j occur divided by the size the uh, the size of uh, the smallest subset of documents between uh, the subset of document that contains uh, between the subset of all the documents that contains uh, word term uh, i and the subset of all documents that contain word uh, uh, j. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Is this a question online? Uh, no, not yet. I'll let you know. Um, Stein had to go. He says he's gonna. He has questions, and he's gonna find you the next time he sees you in some. Oh, okay. But he had to go. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I just wanted to ask. So, 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 I want to kind of come back to the come back to the big picture for a little bit. So, so, what? I take it from the context, right? That your part of what you're hoping. I'm trying to get at like what you're hoping the digital analyses are going to give you. Right? So I take it that part of this is you're hoping that like you have you have competitors in the literature who don't see the agency stuff as being important at all. Right? And so you're hoping to be able to use this to sort of bash them over the head with the idea that like, look, if you go to the literature and you look at the papers and you see what's important to the papers. And then you ask yourself the question, does what's important to the papers have to do with agency? The answer is yes. Um, I guess, how, 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 should I, how should I put it? At, the, at that general level, are you, um, are you happy with the large hammer that you built? Um, do you think that you got a powerful enough hammer to convince the people who don't agree with you? Um, and if, and if if you're not, why aren't you? And, and how do you think you could like build a better hammer? Um, I, I, I want to get I want to get to that get head that way for a second. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you, Josh. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, um, uh, so the, the the digital analysis uh, uh, was helpful to uh, uh, which provide a sort of basis. Uh, um, that we could use as a starting point for uh, interpreting the, the results. Uh, but uh, uh, we, uh, we also used uh, um, an in, in inter interpretative framework uh, uh, that, uh, uh, what, that, is, uh, that relies on a, on a particular uh, take on the literature on agency and the metabolism that uh, has been produced uh, that, that, uh, within a particular context, the disciplinary context uh, mm. of marine political ecology. And our idea was to try to uh, use this, uh, the, try to uh, draw or maybe um, uh, mm -mm draw uh, interesting uh, conclusions from a particular uh, uh, disciplinary field and see how those conclusions uh, or indications uh, could uh, apply to a very different field uh, uh, but uh, very different field which deals uh, or with the similar phenomena and uh, in this uh, way, we wanted to test uh, the fruitfulness of uh, an interdisciplinary approach, uh, uh, albeit limited because uh, it is within uh, the broader field of ecology, sure. uh, as, as applied to uh, well, broader field of ecology as the study of uh, interaction between society and nature. And uh, the other problem or limitation of the digital approach is that uh, um, 
we came up with the uh, association between terms uh, with uh, documents uh, from uh, the literature we selected uh, that uh, can be used to interpret to, to uh, uh, get a more precise context about uh, how those words are used and about how, how the meaning of uh, those uh, words but uh, uh, the, the gap between uh, words and concepts, uh, so the, the, mm. the, the act of it, the, the, the process of extracting concepts are from words uh, in context uh, requires uh, an additional, uh, uh, let's say, additional theoretical, uh, more theoretical contributions. Sure. And that's why we are working uh, uh, also on, uh, at a more uh, conceptual level, let's say. For instance, uh, I have been delving into uh, uh, Odum's, Howard Odum's and HP Odum's, uh, uh, partly based on the results of the, uh, our computational analysis and interpretation uh, we, uh, uh, we developed uh, through the, uh, the concept, the, the, the interpretive framework I presented today. And Isabetta is uh, working on other strain, he's working on uh, uh, Niklas Luhmann, who is uh, referenced by uh, authors, uh, authors uh, belonging to the social ecology uh, approach. Uh, they reference briefly. Um, would you like to say something, something Isabetta? Um, not really, I don't <laughs> kind of question, but b besides yeah, this, yeah. This, yeah. Mm -hmm. That I hope I answer the question. Yeah. But maybe it's it's related, but I, I'm not sure mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm right in what I'm saying. So, yeah. Um, I mean, agency is is. Um, I was trying to reflect on how this summer, if we, we are they are happy with this Homer and, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. how far can, can we go with, with this Homer? Ah, some, some, <laughs> some Homer. Or, or where, more than yeah, how yeah, far. Yeah. I think. And um, I was thinking about the fact that in urban political ecology, agency is used to, uh, as you mentioned, to underline um, power dynamics beyond and behind and, and over and, and Mm -hmm. everywhere around our metabolism uh, uh, and uh, resources flows and process within the city. And I was wondering whether, and, and this is also maybe linked to the further step we are taking with Nicola, uh, a more kind of more conceptual analysis um, to, to grasp um, concept and Signification of agency, <coughs> and to maybe unpack also the, the political and the, 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 the politics, let's say more than the political, mm -hmm. but uh, power dynamics beyond or, or, in, or embodied in in agency itself. Uh, so I guess maybe I, I don't guess I hope <laughs> this armor <laughs> could be. Um, yeah, not, 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 I mean, it, it, it's first to show, okay, agency is there and it's important to grasp agency because it's, it's, but then also to um, connect this with uh, the, the politics of uh, our metabolism of flows and, and resources and to, to, to unpack what mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. resource flows and processes um, yeah, their effects and, and also how different agents have an impact on um, I, I was cool. not that clear, but no, 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 I'm, try, yeah. I'm trying to reflect on and yeah. to, you know, um, um, it, it was not really a question, it was just something <laughs> that I wanted to, to share, to share. Uh, maybe the question could be how much from 
I mean, to what extent from, from the lexical analysis can we grasp values and politics and, and, and um, be embodied in, the, in, in agency, in how agency is used? It's a good question. Yeah, because uh, I think that uh, based on the method and tools we have used uh, uh, so far, we can have a first sense of the also of those uh, normative aspects uh, related to the, the agency of the metabolism of uh, urban social ecological systems. Um, um, to go, however, to go to to to, to uh, go for further in that direction, uh, I think it would be useful to use uh, other tools, uh, more uh, let's say, uh, more oriented toward uh, the, the 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 qualitative uh, uh, aspect, the qualitative aspects of. It talking of texts we are analyzing, something in the vein of a sort of sentiment analysis, but this would uh, uh, require uh, an effort to categorize uh, terms that we can associate with values. Uh, um, so this would, uh, would what? Uh, this would, the way I see this would imply uh, first uh, uh, attempt to uh, try to um, map uh, the uh, axiological teams, uh, mm. big board, mm. the landscape of uh, mm. urban metabolism. Mm. Thank you. No, I don't think you. I have um, two precision questions after that, one more substantial, so you can cut me. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the precision question. So so you, you say you did some relative frequency analysis, I yeah. didn't see anything in the results, so did you find something? Well, actually, the problem with the, the relative frequency, I can show you, is that uh, uh, it ended up not influencing the, the average correlation coefficient, okay. because uh, uh, can just show you rapidly. Um, basically, the the, the documents uh, in the uh, sorry. But the answer is no. <laughs> Um, the, the answer was that, but because uh, basically the, the years we were considered were only 30. Okay. Uh, uh, so that uh, there was uh, there was the, the variance was very limited. Okay. So yeah. Um, can I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My other <laughs> question is, uh, I miss how the disciplinary field entered in the in the data. So so. The disciplinary fields that you were describing at the beginning, they are associated in the data to sources, to papers, to stuff, keywords. Uh, I miss, wait, how do we enter in the, in your data? So, uh Assigned uh, every Oops. Oops. That's a okay. table. <laughs> uh, we assign each uh, uh, document with uh, a disciplinary category. So for instance uh, SE for social ecology, you need to How were they assigned? 
we looked uh, at uh, uh, title, authors, uh, journal, uh, uh, source document reference in the paper, content of the paper. Uh, so you did that? Yeah, yeah, we did the screening. Oh, okay. the, yeah, sorry. Wow. But it's yeah, not the discipline coming from the journal? Yeah. From the, like the Scopus? Uh, I uh, yeah, we do also use Scopus, but we sometimes the results were not uh, convincing. That, that, that the information uh, given so that we started from Scopus was not uh, accurate enough uh, from our point of view. Okay, so you did it. Yeah, and then we try to map uh, this uh, disciplinary, uh, the disciplinary affiliation of the different papers uh, on uh, the terms uh, contained in the, mm -hmm. the papers. Okay. And my, my third question. Thank you. So I was I was quite maybe it's because I missed the first seminar. I was quite confused during most of your talk, not about the techniques, but about the connection between the questions at the beginning and the means. So now if I now I understand it's the goal is not necessarily to directly at learn about the Gen C and urban metabolism. It's to have a hammer against another group that is defending <laughs> something else. Which now I see okay. Because, because for me, it's quite far. Usually when we do data mining like that in papers, in the scholar paper, is to learn about the history of science or the history of concept inside the academia. Mm -hmm. It's not to study stuff in the world directly, it's most of the time. But, but it's very important to learn how things change in academia, because these are all academic papers. Yeah. So, so so there's a, a part of the project about the Gen C itself, you know, Latour style stuff or other. And there's a part about using that kind of data to argue about how we talk about it or how we conceptualize it in these different subfields. I'd say that the, 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 um, the aim is to highlight and untap the potential is uh, the potential of using the concept of agency to uh, uh, clarify existing, clarify, or refine existing methodologies and identify other, possibly identify other methodologies in the field of rural metabolism studies that could address uh, questions related to uh, um, uh, how uh, flows of resources are uh, uh, studied and governed. So there is an epistemological uh, aspect and there, there is a, a normative uh, political aspect. Uh, um, and the concept of agency is interesting because uh, it, uh, it allows to uh, uh, travel between those two fields, the, the, sorry, not field, but those two aspects of the uh, the aspect related to the question of uh, uh, how are uh, uh, how are the processes related to those flows of energy and matter that go through cities studied uh, how are they understood and who produces knowledge about those uh, uh, those processes on the one hand. On the other hand, there is the question of uh, how those, uh, uh, those uh, flows of matter and energy are uh, oriented because uh, uh, they are uh, uh, they underpin uh, uh, how a city develops mm -hmm. uh, as a social system and uh, uh, how resources are distributed within, uh, within, this, within that particular social system. Okay. I understand better. <laughs> I'm quite skeptical, but I understand better. <laughs> a question. Um, when you're doing the cluster analysis, um, I see that you present in the table uh, that you, uh, for each cluster, you are assigning um, 10 uh, different studies. And all of, the, all of the clusters have the same amount of, 
of papers, right? Ten. Uh, is uh, that, up to uh, ten, not, not exactly. Up to ten, okay. Mm. Uh, but these um, papers or these studies um, are representative of the cluster because the words, the keywords uh, are appearing mo um, more, most frequently in, in those uh, papers. Are you planning to do um, like an in-depth review of these ten papers in order to, I don't know, to try to find uh, like the way that the indicators are measured uh, in order to, to construct your, your framework? Uh, is that, uh, are those the next steps? Or, uh, yeah. Thank you, for the question. Yeah, actually in the framework of this project we are mainly focusing on the agency, on the question of agency, so we are selecting the papers uh, based on how uh, relevant are to uh, the, the, the interpretative framework uh, um, uh, we establish as the basis of the interpretation. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that could be um, an interesting endeavor, but uh, uh, it's a bit, uh, let's say, uh, it, it exceeds the scope of, uh, okay. of our project. And, and so the framework that you are planning to build um, it's only going to be conceptual, right? It's not going to be like you, you cannot measure uh, all of the indicators and then see what are the actors implied in this uh, kind of measure of the indicator, or, or it's just. Uh, uh, actually, the final outcome would be a conceptual uh, framework. Uh, um, uh, Characterizing different uh, aspects of uh, the agency of the uh, the urban metabolism, uh, in connection with uh, the uh, model classification system on which Adam is working, and the connection between those two uh, outcomes uh, would be a, a model uh, decision system. Uh, relating different kind of models to different uh, kinds of actors, different forms of agency. Okay. So that the actor can uh, choose uh, the better model to... Yeah, exactly. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, sure. yeah, I think my question is similar to yours. I just wanted to ask that this concept of agency or any word related with agency, you used it in the analysis part of all the papers that you did not use it. It was related with urban metabolism and then from the concept of agency you interpreted the the results of the analysis. Uh, yeah, basically we wanted to look for uh, trace, for what about traces uh, of the presence of the concept of agency but beyond but the term uh, Sorry, but, but you did not, uh, in the analysis itself, in creating the corpus and in that uh, part of your work, you did not use any word specific to agency or any synonym or... Exactly, the, 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 the selection was based, was centered around the urban metabolism. Okay. Okay. So we selected, but uh, centered around urban metabolism and the fields, the system uh, based field uh, approaches uh, constituted by urban ecology, industrial ecology, and social ecology. So we selected the first uh, uh, the, the, the 24 source document uh, based uh, on, uh, uh, on this uh, criterion. So documents uh, that were either dealing with urban metabolism or with the conceptual foundations of industrial ecology, urban ecology, and social ecology. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we, uh, we gathered uh, uh, the, the papers, the, the articles that uh, went into the, the final uh, uh, corpus based on the reference on the on the references of those uh, uh, 24 source documents okay uh, and like if uh, you have these four networks so i have no experience in this kind of very little uh, no experience in this kind of analysis so if you wanted to verify your results again by doing a similar search to see that whether your the concept of agency of 
actors and other agencies like is it validated or there's no uh, way of validating it quantitatively or, or maybe you can explore that or yeah well there are different ways for instance uh, there are indirect ways uh, like but there is the let's say the the, the or maybe I'm sorry, like the, the interpretation, you mean the interpretation of agency no, or mean, uh, the, the, the validity I mean, of the clustering? Yeah, yeah, I mean the validity of the clusters. Yeah. Like maybe you're doing it first at the one the algorithm. Sorry, you trust the UI algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there are, there are indirect <laughs> ways, for instance, uh, um, like uh, starting from the assumption that uh, if the clustering is uh, uh, meaningful, the documents uh, with the list of documents we yeah. can assign it to, uh, to each cluster mm -hmm. must be homogeneous from a semantic point of view. We can use measure to uh, uh, like we, we can test the um, this on for this homogeneity. There are uh, measures yeah. to be used, yeah. uh, and this could be one way of validating indirectly validating the. But trust the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> Have you compared it to the reviewer? Clustering analysis. Uh, no, not that. It could be. Mm. Um, yeah. Or, so there is there is the qualitative validation, uh, like uh, some expert from the field, uh, just uh, feeling that uh, the, the the words are meaningful. They are right. Uh. And you like in this uh, field, uh, usually you cannot validate it by using two search engines like doing it in Scopus and then doing it again, again in Web of Science maybe to see whether the results are kind of same. You could check by starting from another list of 20 papers. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. 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 You, do, you, do, you do work with someone from K11 if you want Web of Science. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 but that's a lot of work. You're about to become more popular. <laughs> <laughs> but usually that is not done here. It is mostly the, the measures which you are saying of homogeneity and things like that, which are used to verify the results. Yeah, but the problem is that this approach was tailored to our, uh, to our goal. Okay. Yeah. So we assemble different uh, bits and pieces of various approaches. Yeah, I was going to say, at some point, I mean, this would be too like weird and you know too far afield for now. But like, I want to talk to you sometime about like how you <clears throat> basically where you found all your Legos and how you decided to put them together because it's a cool collection of Legos. But I mean, I will, yeah, like it's a, it's, it is, it's a, it's a, it's a. I don't know. You might be able to get away with writing a methodology paper about this if this really, if this really is, mm -hmm. it kind of, kind of sticks. I'm not, I'm not sure that I've seen this pile of Legos assembled this way before, which is really cool. Pretty uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, I sh should uh, identify uh, uh, like um, robust, robust and not too time consuming way of validating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Methodology for a methodological paper. Yeah, yeah. If you, I mean, if you, that'd be the only thing I think you would need to be able to get to be able to get a publication out of that side of this, because yeah. I, I think it's. But that's a long I time. It's good. Yeah, true. Probably I mean, that. a robust and careful. It's really yeah, it's easy to say a robust and careful method of validating the results, and that's <laughs> yeah. The, the, the main bias comes from the sample and the beginning. Right. So we should have do it many times and check and do some statistical analysis to check that the method that you use is pretty robust and that, that's a lot of work. Yeah. But yeah. you could do it. It's a paper. <laughs> it, it's a paper in scientometrics. Yeah. Yeah. And this is where your skepticism comes from. No, my yeah. skepticism I was, I was no, 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 no. my skepticism comes from the thing you want, the method you use to get to what you want. Mm. And I think what you want and the method is not exactly, you know, it's, but I say the same thing to Shao. When we have a new tool, we want to use it. But sometimes we forget what was the question we wanted to answer. Mm. So maybe you should tailor the question to the tool. <laughs> But but it seems that your your question is much more ambitious than what you can do with that method. So it's 
But he answered well. He explained that it's a part of a process. <laughs> no, of course. I, I, I just, I, as I'm working with him on, on the But I'm skeptical because, 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 because it's very it's important to have because these techniques yeah, are yeah. powerful. These techniques are powerful, but not as much as we would like. So yeah. we have to tailor the question so very well to say, okay, the constant fight. I can yeah. I can answer with that mm -hmm. method. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because at the end, your cluster and that, I'm sure they are well done. Maybe, okay, maybe we can doubt of the 24 first papers, but let's say you had a good sample. You have this cluster that seems okay, nothing super weird. You seem from someone in the field, you know, like there's very strange words there. They say, okay. Your analysis through the, pa through the paper were very clear and very extensive during the talk. But how is it related to, well, how is it exactly what you need to answer your question about agency? You know, that, I don't know. Well, yeah, it's a... Uh, so in your answer, uh, just because you're, you will start again. So yes, in your sure. answer, what I thought was interesting is that you say, okay, I concentrate on the producer of knowledge about agency and not on agency. I say, oh, that, 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 that's clever. You know, that's, that's a good way to, to connect the method with, the, with the, the subject. But if you are more interested by politics of agency and all that, maybe some, another method would be better. Thank you. It's been definitely more than time, so yeah. we can we can, we can, we can free much. we can free Nicola. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.